The tone curve in perfect black and white allows you to refine the contrast of your image. Namely, if you look at the bottom left corner of the tone curve, that indicates the black point of your image, and the upper right indicates the white point. You can drag the tone curve up and down to specify how much contrast you want in the brighter parts of the image and the darker parts. This gives you more control than just by using the standard contrast slider. So let's say I want to increase contrast. I can do so by creating what's known as an S-curve. I'm going to drag the top right part of the curve up a bit. You can see how the whites and bright parts of the image have gotten more contrast added to them. I can do the same thing for the shadows by dragging down. Now you can see just how much contrast has been added in a way that's different than just by using the contrast slider. This is called an S-curve because of the traditional shape that it looks like, the letter S. If I want to increase the white point or make the whites stand out even more, I can take the top right point and drag it inward. I can do the same thing for the black point, making the shadows even deeper. There are plenty of resources online that help you learn more about the tone curve, and this is how you can use it in perfect black and white to refine the contrast of your image.